In North Cornwall, part of the road into Port Gaven has collapsed. People living there say they feel cut off. And as Eleanor Parkinson reports, the road may not be repaired until the summer. Like many coastal villages in the southwest, Port Gavern was battered by the storms. And during the last big high tide, the waves washed away part of the road leading into the village. Southwest water engineers have been working to repair a broken sewage pipe. But people living here say they've been told it could be June before the road itself is repaired. This little cove is popular with visitors, in particular day visitors from just up the hill at Port Isaac. Local businesses here say unless this road is fixed soon, it'll affect their summer trade. Richard Cook has just opened a guest house. He says they feel cut off. To go to the co-op, which is about a quarter of a mile round trip normally for me, it's a 12 mile round trip through Pendoggett and they're closing the road up there on Monday. So um, I don't know where we'll go then. We'll have to go almost into St Kew. It'd be quicker to go to Dalabol, I suppose, which is a 14 mile round trip. And do you think this might affect your visitors? Yeah, it'll, it'll affect here and affect the pub, um, all sorts of things, I think. The Port Gavern Hotel is also open for business, but they fear some people will be put off by the fences and closure signs. People that know where we are and know the roads, and are, you know, they'll find their way here now that we've got the signage right, but it, you know, it will make a difference because a lot of people come to Port Isaac firstly and then come down the hill to us. Cornwall Council is already facing a storm damage bill of more than £21 million. They say they've yet to assess this latest problem and come up with a timescale for repairs. Eleanor Parkinson, BBC Spotlight, Port Gavern.